what's up my wonderful loyal YouTube subscribers? More, more, more coffee shops and bakeries. That's what we do. All we do is keep eating and I keep going to the gym at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. to work this stuff off. So today, guys, we're going to go to JJ Bakery. I think it's called JJ Bakery or JJ Bakery and Bistro. Very close in the city of Huahin or in the district or whatever you want to call it. Right in town, basically. That means it's not too far from us. I think it's got like 4.9 stars on, sorry, 4.9 uh, on Google reviews. But bear in mind, there's only a few reviews on there. So there's only one way to find out if this is worth going to. Yeah, we're gonna head there ourselves. Come on, let's go. Right guys, this is a very strange vlog today. We have got, well, we were supposed to go to one place called JJ Cafe, but guess what? The place was closed. Did they tell us on Google Maps? Hell no. So, time for a little rant. All restaurant owners, cafe owners in Thailand, Wahin. In fact, all owners in the world, please update Google. You know, we rely on this thing called Google. We go on there, we see it's open, we see it's closed. We come, we don't come. But look, we went online, it said it was open, it was closed. Actually, it was closing in five minutes. So what I did, I went inside and I said to the owner, I said, look, what time do you open and close? Went outside, the outside actually said, uh, I think it was like eight till 3.30, but it didn't say daily or whatever. Then she told me it's actually closed on Wednesday and Sunday, so guys, update these things for us please anyway i'll be coming back to jj's cafe and bistro and i'll be doing a review soon but the universe has balance where one door closes another door opens and here we are jai fet bistro and garden yes guess what we went on google maps it took us to the wrong location. So I went on Facebook, clicked on the map. It was actually in Thai. Put it on normal maps, whatever comes on the phone these days. Can't remember what it's called. Went on the maps, brought us here in a very, very random street. Busted up street, to be honest. And then we came to Jai Fet. And this place is absolutely beautiful. Guess how many people are in there? Zero. Let's go and check it out. Hello guys, how are you doing? Thank you for waiting for me. Thank you. Let's take a look at the menu. All right, so let's have a look at the menu. We have a good menu here of general coffees, tea, milks, and speciality menus. So that one is beckoning me, the Kit Kat Frappe, but 125, that's a, that's a mean, that's a mean price. So I may change my mind, cause you know, Sometimes I'm a little bit cheap. So we've got some more drinks here. We've got like um, some liquor actually, some hard liquor, as they say in America, hard liquor. And we have some appetizers. Um, here we go, soups. So this isn't a cheap place by any means. The prices are a little bit raised. I'd say about double to triple usual prices, so. <laughs> I think I may try one thing just to give it a try and it may just have my coffee so let's see what we order and that is the end of the menu guys so a very thin menu 
it would be nice to have some nice pictures there but it doesn't have any pictures but um, very clean good English and uh, appreciate the menu Jai Fit. right guys so I just spoke to the guy who's working here today and he told me the reason why it's called Jai Fet because the father who is the owner of the space that's his name very simple he's not here today he's actually somewhere over there he said somewhere in the garden or in the gardener Maybe he's in the garden, not sure. He said his whole family are chefs, they're all cooks. His mum is cooking the food today, I think. I believe that's what he said. But, you know, English is not so great, but it was okay. Um, so hopefully he's, he's in the back there, he's gone to give the order. I think she's gonna cook it in the kitchen somewhere. The place smells divine, guys. This is, it smells of citronelle, which is lemongrass, sorry. I'm always flipping between French and English these days. That's what happens when you marry a French woman. So yes, it is lemongrass. It smells great in here. And this is a really, really beautiful place. They've done it really, really well. They've got like wine on the wall. It's a little bit expensive, you can see on the menu. As I said, it's like maybe two to three times the price. But you know what? Let's just see what the quality is like. Maybe the quality is amazing. Maybe the portions are bigger. Maybe they're not. Maybe just the settings are, are nicer. So you're paying a little bit of a premium. But to be honest, in the scale of things, it's not that expensive. So the coffee has arrived. I think this is the first time I've had a coffee here that actually arrived in a like a coffee China coffee set, like a tea with, a, with this. Wow. And we also have these complimentary of the house. This is a organic tea apparently from the organic garden they have. Minty. Minty? Are you gonna have a little shot? Cheers. Cheers. Have a little sip. Bless you. Careful with the hot water. Yep. Cheers. Bottoms up. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? Bottoms up. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> Moroccan tea. This is, this is like when you go to Marrakesh or anywhere in Morocco for that thought. You'll get this. A lot sweeter, obviously. If you've been there, you know what I'm... If you know, you know. But this is a... Uh, yeah, this is an organic, fresh mint. Little shot. Something different. Something different than we've had before. I like this. I'm, I'm already liking this place. I feel so posh. I've got tea in a teacup. This is like, this is British. Well, not tea, coffee. I'm, I'm so, I'm retarded. Can I say that? Can I say the R word these days? I'll just use dumb. That's good. I wonder where those coffee beans are from. That's, that's different. It's got a bitter, rich taste. You can hear he's making the coffee in the background over there. Right there. Nice guy. You know, what really elevates this coffee is the actual medium that is served in, which is this coffee cup slash teacup. Very, 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 very nice. And it also came in some sort of syrup. I'm gonna have a little sip. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's good. I could just drink that on its own. I don't know what that is. Wow. This on for you? Oh, is this for the tea or for the coffee? I'm gonna put a bit of my coffee and a bit of the tea in there. Wow, this is, this is good stuff. It's like liquid cocaine, if that's what cocaine tastes like. You like the tea? Go and have a little. It's hot though. I don't think it's a bit. Is that too hot for her to pick up? You'll know very quickly. This is how you teach kids. <laughs> C'est bon? Wow, you like it. That's it. We might start giving you tea. You even got the sound effects afterwards. Ah! <laughs> oh, round two. Opinions for the people on YouTube. Oh, don't eat the leaf. Well, you can if you want. <laughs> oh wow look at that that is beautiful guys and we were told that these are edible flowers from the organic farm which we will go and have a look at later but that is um that's definitely a sight to behold that's for sure nice uh pregnancy uh, not pregnancy was it feeding breastfeeding? breastfeeding gown 
matches the pineapple. All right, let's dig in. This, let's, let's dig in. All right, I will let you have the first sip. Take it. Take it to the dome. Slow down. Yeah. Good. Best so far. Really? Oh yeah. Seriously. That's amazing, man. Out of every single drink we've had since you've been here, that's the best so far. Juice. Mm, yeah. All right. There's there is something, but maybe I don't. Know. Maybe it's the postpartum flavor taste. I have to taste it as well, obviously, to give my opinion. But all right, I'll take your I'm take your word for that. That's really good. Yeah. I think there's a bit of lemon in it. That's lemon in it. Amazing. Right. Let's, give it. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. You're gonna get yours. Daddy has to have a sip first. Damn. That's mad. I don't know what is in that, but whatever is in that, that's like liquid cocaine, apparently. Oh, man, that's so good. That is the best. I love, I love this because we weren't supposed to come here at all because the other place closed. But I love bumping into place and then finding out like that they serve the best pineapple frappes here. Guys, price was on the screen before. Or price is on the screen now, actually. Let's have a look at the price. I think it's about 95 baht. And that is well worth the money. Edible flowers, guys, from Organic Farm. Glass, nice heavy glass. Lots of fresh pineapple in there. Nothing added, no artificial colors or preservatives. The best. Time for the ultimate taste test from my daughter, my firstborn. So, what do you think, Athena? She's a quiet one, isn't she? Again? Second? Ooh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh God, I know, I'm right? Sorry. All right, guys, look at that. Like, this is the best presentation I've seen since I've been here. Like, this needs to be shown on TV. This was unexpected. Look at that, how the egg drapes over the rice and the, look at that presentation there. Edible flowers. Who, how did they cut these? That is amazing. You have a, look at the, the smell is so divine, like from my dish at all. My, this is what I ordered. This is like a congee, or is it congee? It says rice porridge with pork. That is stunning, and then the bowl is massive. The bowl is huge, and this plate is huge as well. And the smell isn't isn't the smell amazing? Can you smell yeah, it? It smells really wow. good. Wow, I'm so I'm I'm ready to tuck that, into this. That's the knife in Thailand, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. No knives in Thailand, don't forget, guys. Fork and spoon is life. It's a nice golden fried egg there. Good, right? It's not, not oily, it's not yeah, oily right? I can't see. It. Yes, it's been like fried a lot, but there's no oil coming out of yeah. it on the plate. And sometimes you go to places and they have like loads of oil spilling everywhere. Okay. Not in this place. This place looks good. So I'm about to tuck into this. So if you haven't had this before, rice porridge is basically just rice, like a soupy rice. And they have this at breakfast. They actually, they eat this all the way through the day type people. They eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I love it, to be honest. I really, really love it. Easy to make as well. It's just about getting the right balance of the ingredients in there to give that porridge that really distinct flavor. Mm, that is so good. That is so good. The flavors in there are so robust. So, I don't know. It's like I can really feel it. Wow, it's amazing. I mean, There's a bit of pork here as well, like a minced pork. No fatty bits in it. Really fresh, fresh ingredients, a little bit spicy. They give us condiments to go with it as well, but I can just eat it the way it is, to be honest. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna finish this. Probably gonna take like five, 10 minutes. I'll let you know what the finished uh, result was, if I enjoyed it or not. I'm really enjoying this at the moment. I'll see you in a bit.
So guys, my opinion of this place, wow. What a gem of a find here in Hua Hin, Thailand. Guys, this is, and I'm gonna put this statement here, this is the best Thai food I've had since I've been here in Thailand, say for this three month stretch. Possibly even the best I've ever had in Thailand. And that's a bold statement, yes I know. But why am I saying this? It's organic, the portions are huge. The restaurant is absolutely beautiful. The music is calm and inviting. It's an independently owned family restaurant. It has an organic garden outside that you can come and visit and see what you're eating from here, from the garden to the plate. And guys, I know I had the most basic dish. I had rice porridge and my wife had the uh, rice with egg. If that was that good, what are the other dishes like? You know what that means, right? It means we have to come back. Guys, there's only one thing left to try, and that's the bathrooms. Let's take a look. Let's see if this is good. Don't let me down now. Do not let me down, and you have not let me down. Nice, clean, no cobwebs. Very, very clean. Let's lift this lid up. No, look at that. You can eat your dinner off that. You can eat your fried rice off that. Tissue, bin, little plant pot. Very classy, very small, open air. I'm giving this, I'm giving this a four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five. And we've got somewhere to wash our hands as well. So that's it guys, we're heading back into the restaurant. I love this place, I'm definitely coming back. This is my secret hideaway. Yes, the map is wrong on Google Maps. I'm gonna leave the real map description in the link for you guys. To be honest, I don't even wanna give you the link for this place. It's so damn good. I don't want it to come out and get really commercial. I want it to stay as nice and intimate as it is now. But anyway, I'm a sharing guy. Go and click on the link in the description. Guys, the food here is sick. I mean, I just love it here. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget, comment and subscribe. Join the Hawaiian family. Join us along our journey. You're gonna see plenty more places to come, all right? So we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Take care, have a good day.